now it's official. Mercedes-Benz have forgotten how to build a fast car. Three years on and still building garbage, scrap cars, sorry to state the obvious but, it looks like Mercedes are out until 2026 of the championship battle. Since the ground effect cars were launched it seems Mercedes went to sleep, three seasons into the ground effect car regulations and the Brackley based team have not grasped the fundamentals of ground effects providing the primary downforce rather than the front and rear wing of the car. A short ad break. 94% of viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So, please, and please, kindly subscribe to the channel and like the video. YouTube algorithm only grows channels with likes. Thank you. Furthermore, Mercedes can't fix the bouncing in the cars they have built for three seasons now. Red Bull fixed their bouncing in the first race of the 2022 season. Adrian Newey in his interview with Top Gear said, bouncing is not simply due to the aerodynamic shape of the car, there are other factors, suspension characteristics, body stiffness, and when we were designing RB18 we were very mindful of that. We had a bit of poor poising at the very start, but we were on top of it by race 1. Nui added that, simulating bouncing in a wind tunnel and more in computational fluid dynamic CFD is not easy. It's a transient problem, and there's no motion to the car relative to the road. You don't see it if you're not looking for it. That's the thing with all simulation tools they're dependent on what you put into them. If you have not looked in the right place and put the right things in, you won't get the right answers out," Adrian Newey concluded. Others like Aston Martin, McLaren, Ferrari have fixed their bouncing issues. Toto Wolff said Mercedes does not fully comprehend what's going wrong in high-speed corners, as its real-world performance is not matching what its data suggests. There is something which we don't understand, he said we are quick everywhere else pretty much. We know that we have a smaller rear wing, we are compensating for what we're losing through the corners, but it's just at high speed where we're losing all the lap time. It goes far beyond just being a setup problem, there's only much you can tune here. Our simulations point us in a direction, and this is the kind of setup range that we then choose, where you put the right rear wing on, I think you will gain a few tenths or not, a massive corridor of performance. It's more a fundamental thing, that we believe that the speed should be there, we measure the downforce, but we don't find it in lap time," he concluded. According to comments coming out of Toto Wolff and Lewis Hamilton show that, the engineering team at Mercedes has not mastered the fundamentals of ground effect era cars. And I don't think they will, unless new engineers are lured in from Red Bull. In conclusion, Mercedes is done challenging for the championship, till new regulations save them in 2026. Hopefully, they get those right.